Storyline Zoom feature is a really powerful tool to help learners zero in on exactly what you want to emphasize. Like in this example, I have a screen recording that shows how to get to our showcase page. And what you'll notice when I hit the play button down here in the lower left is that a couple seconds in, we zoom in on the learn more button. We see the clicking action and then we arrive at a new page where we zoom in again to the showcase button and then we zoom out to display the items in the showcase. Well, that zooming action gives us a really easy way to guide the learner's eye to just the right content at the right time. And here's another example. In this slide, we have a scenario where two characters are talking. There's a little bit of a conflict brewing here, and we use a zoom region to focus in on one of the character's thoughts. So take a look when I hit the play button here. We zoom in, we get a little information about what she's thinking, what's going through her head, and then we zoom back out. And then the learner can choose one of these options over here to move on to the next part of the scenario. So in this slide, the zoom is used more as a cinematic effect, kind of creating that sense of contemplation or emphasis rather than just pointing out you know, a particular button or a feature of the screen. So let's take a look at how easy it is to add a zoom region. I've got a slide right here that contains a map. And suppose I want to feature a particular region of the map at a specific time during this slide. Well, I've got some objects here that I've inserted onto the map that I'm using as callouts, but I really want to give my learners a close-up view of those items when they appear on my screen. And you can see down here in the timeline, I've set the start point of each of those items very specifically to start at a particular point in the slide duration. And over at the right edge of each of the objects, you can see that they're all disappearing from the screen at about the 10 second mark. So now let's go ahead and add our zoom region and time it on our timeline so that learners can really hone in on those callouts when they appear. So what I'm gonna do is come up to my insert tab and choose zoom region. And when I select that, Storyline inserts the zoom region for us and all we have to do is size and position this rectangle to suit our needs. So I'm gonna just size it down quite a bit because I wanna zoom in on this little area right here on my screen. I'm gonna size it a little bit smaller and that looks about right. And you're noticing probably that as I'm resizing that zoom area that it's always gonna have the same aspect ratio as my slide. And that way things stay nice and proportional during the zoom. I never have to worry about the aspect ratio looking skewed or off. So once we've sized and positioned the zoom region, we can come down here to the timeline to decide how we want that zoom to happen, when we want it to zoom in and when we want it to zoom back out. Well, right now you can see that my zoom is starting right at the beginning of my slide timeline and it's only lasting three seconds. So it zooms in, it stays zoomed in for three seconds and it zooms out. And this is not really what I want. So I'm gonna select that object on my timeline and drag it so that it starts at about the two and a quarter second mark. And I want it to last quite a bit longer. I want it to stay zoomed in until those callout objects disappear from my screen. So that would be, at 10 seconds. And now we should be all set here. The other thing that we can do is choose the zoom transition speed. To do that, we just right click on the bounding box of the zoom area on our slide and then choose zoom transition speed. And I'm gonna set this one at very slow. Since we're zooming in quite a lot, we don't want that zoom to happen too abruptly or look too jerky when the learner is watching the slide. So now let's go ahead and preview this and we'll see how our zoom looks. What we should see is at around two seconds, we should zoom in. We'll get a nice close look at that region and our callouts come on screen. And then at about 10 seconds, we're gonna zoom right back out. And that's all there is to it. It's really that easy to create a zoom region on any part of your slide at any time that you choose.